Hello, son. <laughs> and I apologize. To you too, Teresa. Me? No, oh, I... I overreacted. <laughs> I know I accused you of going after Ethan and trying to keep him for yourself, but... Well, now that the wedding is almost upon us, and my darling girl and her man are so obviously in love, well, I just want to, to let everyone know that I was wrong. And when I saw the pearls and the brooch, I knew exactly how wrong I was. A crane man always keeps his word. I wish I could express how much I am looking forward to this wedding. The day when Gwen and Ethan will be joined forever. Now that is a happy day. <laughs> Please, Gwen, we really need to talk. Ethan's been dying to spend some time alone with me, and I simply can't put him off any longer. After all, he is the groom. So, you have my undivided attention. And whatever else your heart desires for the entire afternoon. We'll, we'll be back. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, Rebecca, you know, I really need your help over here with some of the place settings. Oh, yes. 